first of all, my friend, if uh, the Labor Party had left the budget surplus, Tony Abbott wouldn't have to make any cuts at all. But putting that aside, can I just say to you, I thought your speech to the Senate uh, recently about Tony Abbott was one of the most disgusting and appalling speeches I've ever seen delivered in my entire political life. That was disgusting. Wow, thank you, Michael. Why do you believe that? Why do I believe that? Well, mate, we've only got four hours of this coverage to go, but for you to attack him personally in that way, full of lies and misstatements, uh, was just appalling. I'm sure it played well to the disaffected people in Western Australia whose votes you're trying to collect. But to and give a speech, to, to, well, you know, obviously, but to give a speech like that attacking a person, um, there's no evidence in the world that Tony Abbott is homophobic for a start. Um, if you knew anything about the man, you wouldn't have given any a speech like that at all. It was appalling and you should be ashamed of yourself. Well, I guess what, Michael, I'm not. Uh, no, I, 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 I know you're not. And more's the, more's the, the pity. It's the fact more's that 800,000 people watched it. Probably many of them in shock rather than in support, my friend. Scott London, can Don't be. There's a, there's a freak show audience out there to support extremist views like the ones you expressed in the Senate. And uh, you should, as I said, you should be ashamed of yourself for making a statement like right. that. If there's, you think 800,000 people are freaks, then Scott it might Scott, can, can I just jump in? A bit of a can, yeah, they probably evening, read it. They, they probably looked at it because they were many of them were shocked and disgusted, but my friend.